Ciao! This is Mosca Woodworking and today we are going to speak about low angle planes. We usually speak about low angle planes, but from a theoretical point of view, it would be better to speak about bevel up planes. Because the main difference between a low angle plane and the traditional one is the fact that traditional planes have the bevel down with the chip breaker that must be put very next to the, to the blade in order to obtain fine shaving. From the bevel up plane or low angle one, the bevel is upright and it, uh, is, it is easier to uh, obtain uh, fine shaving with this uh, setup of the plane. Another important difference between a traditional plane and the low angle is the fact that the bed angle in uh, a bevel up plane is 12 degrees while the bed angle in a traditional one is 45 degrees. In my collection there are two types of low angle planes. One is an Alex jack plane and the other one is a Veritas finishing plane. Of course the, the Veritas one is very similar to a number 3 and the Alex one is very similar to a traditional number 5. Ok, the two planes are very similar. They both have an Orton lateral adjustment for the blade. They both have uh, the adjusting mouth or throat as you can see here. One thing that is very good on the Veritas one is this little knob that avoid the throat to be pushed against the blade and this is very helpful as it's uh, you know um, avoid to damage the blade. So let's start mounting the Alex one. The blade we insert the blade and we put the cap securing the blade to the rest of the plane. We, we open the throat and totally retract the, the blade. We, sh we should not be able to obtain any shavings for the first passes. Then always always uh, playing with the engaged blade so you need to turn clockwise this roll and okay we are obtaining some shading on the right and nothing on the left so we need to adjust now we can close the throat or the mouth and here we go here we go we are obtaining tiny, tiny shapes. Here is the very tough plate. As you can see, we can. Compare the results, this is the Veritas and this is the Alex one. They are pretty much the same 
as you can see, super tiny shavings on soft tools. Okay, now let's try to take all the uh, figure maple, which is very difficult to, to handle. And as you can see, with the Veritas plane, we are uh, able to obtain quite good shaving. Let's adjust the mouth. Okay. Good result, but if you take a look, okay. here we go. The thirty-eight blade, the thirty-eight degrees blade, is performing better on this kind of difficult grain. Okay, last test is this uh, piece of mahogany which is very um, prone to tear out and we have also got a little knot in here. So let's go with the Veritas. Let's extract a little bit of the blade. Here we have the 38 degrees blade. And that's the result. As you can see, super fine shavings on mahogany. The Veritas plane is very good also in uh, also taking care about uh, shooting board uh, issues. So they are flat, they are square, they are very well machined and so it is very easy to create a shooting board like this and uh, taking to 90 degrees all the pieces you cut out with a miter saw, with a table saw or whatever. Look at this end grain shavings. 25 degrees uh, blade are very very good in at end grain shavings. They are very very good. Look at this. So now the one million dollar question. Is it better to start with a traditional plane or is it better to start with a low angle plane? Well, in my opinion, it's better to invest a little bit more money in a low angle plane, such an example this one maybe, the Alex one, which came with uh, three different blades, because it's easier to set up and it is easier to obtain good result in uh, difficult grains, such an example uh, figure maple or tiger maple 
and with uh, just a little bit more money you have uh, an all-around plane that can uh, last for the rest of your life. So if you enjoyed the video please like, share and subscribe. Ciao a tutti and take care.